Hey guys, Creative Brick Studios here, or Lego Boy 8811, and I'm welcoming you to a new GI Brick review. This is on the Summer 2012 Brick Arms production line, and I'm going to be reviewing all of these weapons right here. There's the brown, um, older weapons, and then the um, black, more modern weapons, although they both have weapons from World War II and modern weapons. So, let's get started. Um, first, I want to thank Julie from uh, G.I. Brick for sending these so quickly. Um, as always, G.I. Brick and, uh, supplies great products from Brick Arms. Uh, they're, gr they're a great reseller, and I definitely enjoy getting products for, from them. Um, they're the only reseller I buy from now, and, uh, I definitely, they have great prices, uh, you can't beat it, and I think you should, uh, buy from them. So, um, first I'm going to start out with the black weapons, um, and first, right here, we have, just the focus, we have the Panzerfaust, and this is a weapon from World War II. Um, oops, which, uh, basically it's a rocket launcher, and, um, definitely like it, it's pretty cool, um, you can use it for World War II stuff, and, uh, you can put a monopod right on there, and then a minifigure, which I'll get, you can hold it, there you go, like so. Great for mocks. Alright, so for the second weapon, we have the MG34, I believe. And uh, this weapon is great, um, especially uh, because it's uh, it's a World War II weapon, but it could be used for sci-fi or modern, um, just of, because of the way it looks. You can see it's got nice detail there. Uh, this drum magazine actually comes off. Oops. Which is pretty neat. And uh, you can grip along here. And you can add a bipod, monopod, U clip, anything you want to that. And uh, we're going to put that on. Then this is the drum magazine that just hooks, clicks right on. Right there pretty cool. I definitely like the detail. Um, looks a little like the MG42, except this is round and not square, this area. And um, it, the MG42 only has one drum. But uh, other than that, I really like it. It's definitely a cool weapon. Alright, so moving on, we have the AUG, or the AUG. And it is definitely a very high quality detailed weapon. Um, I definitely like this, um, compared to other weapons, it's one of my favorite, um, just because of the detail, um, especially the little flashlighted grip, uh, you cannot grip the grip, uh, with the minifigure, um, but you can grip this grip, obviously, because he's holding it, um, but it has a scope mounted on there, and, um, it's very nice recommend getting this. Alright, next up we have the Tommy Gun, or the Thompson. Uh, a lot of you might refer to this as the Gangster Gun, sort of, uh, because it was used a lot um, for gangsters, I guess you could call it, or um, in, I believe, 19... The early 1930s and 1950s or something, there was a lot of crime, and I forget what his name was. Who this was like his his signature weapon, uh, but it's pretty cool. Um, a step up from the Thompson M1A1, I think that Brick Arms also has. Which is pretty cool. And it's got a grip that's already on it. Um, you can. Pop this drum off and uh, see it like that. 
and then it just hooks on right into that right there so there we go like so you can hold it you can grip this part um, like that so there we go that's the time again and uh, next up we have the stand gun very nice um, the prototype version was a clip that um, just clipped on but this is like a tab mag the tab mag is different on here and it uh, slides in <laughs> it's, it's hard to get out um, there we go has that little thing and it goes into that little hole right there like the real one and then just clips in easily very nice for detail if you do a lot of World War II mocks be nice it's pretty cool alright I definitely like the detail on this it looks like it has part of the um, oh what's it called grease gun tip it's pretty neat alright so moving on we have the RPG which is also one of my favorite weapons next to the AUG and it is um, very big um, let's see how long it is how many studs long it's about six studs long give or take like a half a stud and uh, it can be gripped in many places well more like three but one on the handle one here and one here ah, there we go so this definitely looks a lot better than the previous brick arms RPG um, the previous brick arms RPG was just a stick and a little pod at the end which I'll show you this is brick arms previous RPG it's pretty neat though still like the classic one alright so then this is the bazooka so you can also get a glimpse if you have the bazooka it's just a tad bit longer alright so next up oh and also oops it has nice sight detailing and trigger trigger guard so there we go Alright, next up we have the AA-12, which is my definite favorite out of all of these weapons. Um, it's probably my favorite mainly because of um, it was in prototype form for a little bit and I saw it and I just thought it was amazing. Um, it is the uh, only other shotgun that I have now except for the Sabre shotgun and these two right there that's in black at least um, and the uh, combat shotgun so on this it oops it has a detachable drum which is very nice you can just slide it off or clip, clip it off and take it off and let me bring this back to show you so it has the um, chamber right there and the uh, little um, whatchamacallit uh, um, well handle and uh, oh trigger guard and um, it's got the sights um, you can sort of grip it on, under this different on the other side because it doesn't have that um, not much detailing on this, but definitely enough that I, I really like it. Uh, it's my favorite. And then, as you can see, it has those circles right there. So definitely one of my favorite weapons um, out of all these brick arms. So, uh, let me move these. Alrighty, so uh, next up we have the M9 which um, is also a very nicely detailed weapon um, probably one of the most detailed because it's so small and there's a lot of detail on it um, 
has a little, um, the trigger is actually separate from the trigger guard, and, um, the slide is nicely detailed and everything. It is pretty cool. I really like it. Um, got the sights, even the little, uh, whatchamacallit, um, hammer in the back. So it's pretty cool. Alright. So next up we have the um, XM8 I believe. And it's Will's Secret Project. Uh, this one has um, also a lot of detail. It's got a grip, a little flashlight, um, and cool magazine, uh, nice stock, really like this um, you can even there's a little slit right there it's pretty cool it's got exhaust ports there it's pretty detailed um, for such a small gun as well it's a sci-fi assault rifle really like it great job will you know definitely appeal to fans Alright, so next we have the Duringer, or the Duringer, or the Duringer, some, one of those, <laughs> I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, um, tell me if it was the first, second, or third example that I just said, um, alright, so, then we have the, uh, just two little barrels, but it's actually one barrel, I believe, uh, this was used to fend off Nazis, I guess, or something, that were dropped during World War II. They're one-shot pistols. With high stopping power. Something like that. Pretty cool. I have actually seen one, so it is accurate. Um, also, finally, for the final black gun, we have the, um, I believe, it is the Torkarev T99 or T66. Something like that. Um, to me, it looks like a Glock, or an M1911, um, but it is not, and, uh, because I do have an M1911, the older Brick Arms gun, um, and this one is definitely very nice, another nice detailed pistol, Brick Arms has definitely stepped up their game on detail, and I really think that's a plus, um, it's got a great, uh, nice detailing for the on the slide, little lines, trigger, trigger guard, little slide detailing there, sights, yep, and that's about it, so definitely pretty, pretty awesome handy pistol, can use it for anything. Alrighty, now on to the brown weapons. Okay, so now I'm getting on to, let's see, the first brown weapon. Right here we have the M1A1 carbine, or M1A4 carbine. M1 carbine, sorry. <laughs> yep, or carbine. Um, and it has nice detail um, on the back, uh, like back uh, receiver right here for the sights. It's right there. Cool mag. Uh, pretty neat. Like this. Nice accuracy to what a M1 carbine is. It's very nice. Alright, next off, we have my second favorite shotgun, um, which is the Model 1887. And I like this so much because it is a newbie gun in Modern Warfare 2, but it is an uh, awesome, awesome gun. It's, it's pretty neat. Uh, I, I, just, I just really like this, um, how, how Will designed it. It's very accurate. You um, can grip it here and here um, on the receiver or grip and um, very nice I don't exactly think um, there are brown grips but hopefully Brick Arms will release some brown ones um, for that so there we go next we have the musket which is a revolutionary war weapon um, and it can be gripped all along there. Uh, it's got the f uh, flint lock something there. A uh, little sight. 
It's very nice, especially if you're doing Revolutionary War or Civil War even. Uh, but next, if you are doing Civil War, I'd suggest getting uh, some lever action rifles, which is this. Uh, pretty nice, can be gripped on there and there. And uh, it looks like a lever, le lever action rifle. Got the two sights there. Very convenient, nice uh, for doing mocks or scenes. Anything uh, Civil War or Revolutionary War y. So there you go. Alright, so here we have the Saber Shotgun. I believe it's still called the Saber Shotgun. Um, and it is basically the same as the prototype, except that it is brown. And let me get the prototype to show you. So here it is. This is the prototype compared to the production. Obviously, it, this is more refined. And uh, this does not have production circles. But it's exactly the same. So. Except this is in black. Alright, so. Right. The next. The next one. The, oops. Oh, not again. Alright. The next one that we have. Uh, it is similar to the Saber Shotgun, uh, except that it has, um, I think this is the, uh, what's it called? Trench gun. Uh, just it's basically the same body, except it's separated a little bit. It's a little segmented, and it has uh, this thing at the end, and the pump action. You can grip the pump action, same as on the Saber shotgun. It's pretty neat. So it's got uh, de detail on those little dots as you can see and a uh, little like bolt there. Uh, n next off we have the flint lock pistol um, which is pretty nice. Uh, also used for revolutionary war, civil war, and you could even use it for pirates. Um, the only thing that I have a problem with is the handle is a little too curved um, so that when you grip the um, figure on the handle it doesn't he doesn't get a really solid grip like I can just pop it off really easy um, compared to some of the other weapons but I know that's how he had to make it because of um, a flintlock pistol is round like that uh, so but other than that, it's a great pistol to complement the musket. Really like it. It's like a mini musket. It's pretty cool. Alright, so next off we have the thumper. And this, or or what's called the bloop gun, or I uh, forget, M79 launcher. Uh, this is nice, not too much detail. Uh, the prototype was over molded this is not this is all one mold I'm pretty sure got the sight there doesn't open but it's pretty neat you could mod it to open so it's pretty neat I really like it um, can be used for Vietnam anything pretty neat okay so last but not least we have the Car 98, and this is definitely a one-of-a-kind brick arms gun because it's very nice. It entered production very fast after it saw um, prototype version in uh, just a little while ago, not too long ago, around the time when I released my uh, Modern Combat pack review. Um, so it's pretty cool. Lots of detail. Got the bolt. The slide, uh, very long. It's very nice. Sights. Great World War II weapon. I believe it's a Russian World War II weapon. And it's very nice. I recommend getting it. Uh, it's got a lot of detail, as you can see. So, that is the last weapon, but I do have a very special surprise. And it is a gun that has not been released yet, but I have the prototype version to show you. 
and I will review what it looks like. Alright, um, but before I do that, uh, I'm going to give my final words on all of these weapons. And my final words are that these are definitely one-of-a-kind Brick Arms weapons. You can't get them anywhere else. Uh, Will Chapman designed them himself. And uh, nothing can beat Brick Arms for their price, especially for their price, but uh, definitely for the quality and detail and looks of the Brick Arms. Um, they're definitely the highest quality weapons, uh, aftermarket, like, weapons for LEGO that I've seen on the market, um, and the best quality, uh, so definitely, um, stay tuned for more reviews, and finally, I'm going to show you the TD-9, which is the Brick Arms production weapon that is going to enter production soon, I'm most pretty sure, 99% sure, um, but Will is still in the process of getting these brief cases for them. But this is the prototype version. And that's probably most likely what it would look like. That's what it will look like. It's a pistol that fits, a machine pistol that fits into a Lego briefcase. Uh, that's all I'm going to show you now until my next review. It's been Creative Brick Studios. Thanks a lot, Julie. We'll see you guys later, and remember... Be creative. See you guys. Thanks for watching.